best time to start Raid Shadow Legends cancelled already? What's up guys, MTG Jedi here, and uh, the latest hotness in Raid Shadow Legends is start with five free sacred shards. Well, I can tell you this is already patched, okay? So, uh, as of the time of this recording, which is the day after everybody else made their videos yesterday, you can get a Void Shard and Epic Book, 5 million silver and 1,000 energy, which is very helpful. However... This is not going to get you the five sacred shards of your wildest dreams. I mean, five million silver to start the game is, like, really, really nice, okay? Uh, but it is not comparable to five sacred shards, like, not at all. I literally just said to somebody in my Discord, I thought that the five sacred shards thing was brilliant. I thought it would bring a ton of players into the game. And now they've canceled it already. So, bad move, Polarium. I thought the five sacred shards was an awesome idea. But I'm going to outline the process for you um, in case you want to start a new account today. It is still a great time to start Raid. Okay? Right now, you have the simple event going on. So, you're going to get that free legendary. Uh, you also get to start with Jotun or another epic champion for free. Okay, there are plenty of good epics to start with from one of those download links. Okay, so that is a great benefit for an early game as well. And then obviously you get um, additional rewards right now for starting the game. Okay, don't forget when you start the game, come in here and put your promo code in S1MPLE and get those rewards as well. Okay, the bruise and the banner, those are going to be very helpful early on. Do not collect this energy right away, okay? You want to save your energy refills until you're the highest level possible. So before these run out, like two days, wait two days, okay? Six days, yeah, wait six days. Unless you completely run out of energy. But if you're playing the game, you're, you're not going to run out of energy, uh, same thing with your novice tournament. Do not collect this reward. Just leave it there, okay? Um, lots of tips and tricks to start off a new account if you want to, okay? Um, what starter champ should you pick? Probably Kale is still the best, but all four of them are fine. Whoever you want to pick will get the job done. The quickest way to get to level 15 for these rewards is, number one, complete your daily quests. Number one, okay? If you can complete any of your weekly quests, that will help as well. But the only other thing that you need to do is you need to fight your way up through level four. And then after you fight your way through level four, you are going to uh, put three uncommons in here and start leveling them up start leveling your kale up kale with the starter gear which i'm going to show you in a second should be able to clear this in about 30 seconds and then you're leveling up your first champions that will help you level up other champions okay in case you're watching this and you have never played raid before you use champions to level up other champions. So eventually, once I get these two stars to level 20, I will rank them up to rank three for three stars, and then I will use those three stars to rank Kale up to level four, okay? And that's the process. You just go up the chain all the way up to six stars. Um, you need two two stars to level up a, a, a level two champion. You need three three stars to level up, you know, a three star champion, four for four, five for five, and then that gets you to six, which is the max level. Okay, most of you watching this probably would be thinking about doing this for a referral account, which is perfectly fine and a good idea. Um, 
but let's take a look at that starter gear here before I give you some more information. So you can see, like these pieces are ones that they give you for free for completing the campaign. I leveled them all to eight. These ones are ones that they give you for logging in. I logged in two different days to get these. And then the rest of these are just what you get for playing the game. So I leveled those up to eight and I leveled the boots to 12 for one of the missions. Uh, and that's about it. That's all you need to do. Took me under an hour. Um, this is still the energy. It's tricking me. The red dots. Uh, it took me under an hour to complete this process. Okay. But, uh, we are going to go ahead and pull these shards and see if we can get something out of them. I was planning on pulling five sacreds and I'm a little disappointed to not be able to pull five sacreds, but... The time has passed. I did not have time to do it yesterday, so it's no longer available, unfortunately. So uh, at least you know that it's not available and what you will get as of this morning. I'm recording this at 5 in the morning, 5 a.m. EST on 1-13-22. Uh, just to give you a timestamp on the, the actual period when this stopped working, okay? So... Um, let's go ahead and pull these shards, and then if you want to spend money, I'm going to evaluate the offers in the shop as well for you, but let's see if we can just get lucky here. Okay, Alkalite, not a very good champion, but any champion is helpful in the very, very early game. Okay, Educator, Adjudicator, not a big fan of that champion either. Okay, another rare. Tiger Soul, wish she was good, not very good, and one Void Shard. Which legendary will we get? <laughs> Just kidding. Harrier, ooh, oof. Okay, well, this is not this is not the best start here with those shards. Okay, but if you would want to start the game by purchasing some things, you have a ton of options right now in the shop. All of them are decent deals, in my opinion. Like, this one's not bad. Uh, I wouldn't buy this. This one's not bad. This one's not bad. This one's not bad. Even $15 for a sacred is not that bad. Um, this one's not bad. Like, $10 to get your champion to 5-star with some books. I mean, if you wanted to spend money to start the game, I would... Pr probably buy a lot of these things if I was going to spend money to start the game. I would never buy this. I would definitely not buy this, okay? The very first thing I would buy would be this level 10 pack. This is an actual good deal. And if all of the level packs like this were available, man, I would just, I would do that for sure. But, um... This would give you more opportunities to pull more champions. So if you wanted to spend a little bit of money to start your account, you definitely could do that. Okay. Um, the last thing that I want to mention in this video is Plarium. Number one, why put the sacreds there and then take them away right away? That seems completely like nonsense. You got a couple extra downloads, whoop de doo But now once people hear that it's not working, they're going to stop downloading it. So I just think that that would have been a wise choice to keep that promo going. You would have had tons, crazy tons of downloads. Um, thing number two, please buff Jotun. I would love to see some of these be AoE attacks. Make this be an AoE HP burn. He will immediately start seeing play. I would actually love to see if we made all three of his abilities AoE, he could be a very useful champion in the game. As of right now, I don't think he's very good other than early game helping you out. He is freaking cool to look at. Absolutely love this character model, but unfortunately... Uh, he's not great. So, <laughs> um, as for long term, I wouldn't invest too much in him. Uh, getting him up to level 40 is perfectly fine, like forever. Even putting him to 50 at some point is fine. Uh, but you probably would rather just invest in some other champion. So, that'll do it for me here in this video. Tell me in the comments below, uh, how um, are you feeling about this five sacreds thing? 
Did you start a new account? Did you get something good on it? Uh, if they put that back in the game, would that entice you to start a new account? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.